what can you share with somebody out there who's aspiring or they're, they're doing a little work and they want to have that same career as you? Well, I, you know, I'm not a high on giving advice, but I would say just keep on believing in yourself because you're going to be hit with so much stuff that's going to challenge your self-esteem, challenge your inside, challenge your spiritual life. The one thing you cannot let them do is cause you to doubt yourself. No matter how bad it becomes, keep on believing that your goal, you will achieve it, okay? Uh, for me, uh, you say, you know, consistency at work. But what, and during the 80s, I didn't work that much. I well, okay, I did because mm -hmm. there was someone that I didn't know about who was working hard to keep me from working by telling agencies and production companies not to hire me. I didn't know about that until somebody, the gossip got around to me that it was happening. So in the 80s, I did a lot of uh, <laughs> horror movies, okay? <laughs> I have at least six horror movies I did. One called The Stuff, which is a cult favorite. And we'll it's a cult classic. Oh, now. you know about it? Because at the, at the oh, end, yeah. my head gets blown off. But uh, yeah. Yep. But I didn't really reemerge into doing the kind of work that you talked about until the early 90s when I got Martin. You know, no, actually, I went, um, I did some of the Jefferson. I was two years on the Jefferson. Nobody really knows that, but I was a two year regular on the Jefferson. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. But that's when stuff started happening because even though it was a bit bad during the 80s, I didn't let it affect my belief that somehow I would work the way I wanted to work. And it began to happen really for real in the early 90s uh, with Jefferson, with uh, Martin, with uh, Gary Fox. I did, a, I did a year or so with um, Charles Dutton. Show rock, um, you know. So all I can say, just, uh, just you know, as as hard as it may be, and I know it's hard because there were times when I even dealt with doubt because stuff was coming at me where I wasn't doing what I wanted to do. But you guys can't let them take that away. That's the one thing they take it away, then you're not going to make it at all. You know, I got a random question for you because even as you're speaking, I, I just thought. <laughs> Do they still make you audition? Like when you walk in the room, are they still like, well, we need you to read for this part? I am very humble about that. You know why? Marlon Brando had to audition for mm. Godfather. Well, if Marlon Brando had to audition, you know, most of the time I'm not asked to audition. But once or twice I am, you know. Matter of fact, I auditioned for two boat girls. They made you audition for two broke They didn't girls? make me. They said you got to audition. I said, okay, I'll audition. <laughs> I think the producer had me in mind anyway, but he was going through the process, you know, because he was making everybody else audition. I think um, that I had, you know, a little advantage when I went in. But, yes, I did audition. Yeah. Okay. So do you... At this point in your life, take it personal. No, I do. Like, oh, are you crazy? No, I don't. I'll either say no, I won't, or I'll go and audition. Either one. I look most of the time. So have you actually most of the time I'm not asked to audition. So the once or twice time when I am, okay. You know, like I said, Marlon Brando had to audition for Godfather, which is a role we remember him for. Out of all the roles he ever did, and he did an extraordinary job in that movie. Some would think yes. that defines yes. the movie. Marlon Brando playing uh, Don Corleone, but he had to audition for it, and he stuffed his mouth out full with cotton when he went in to do it. You know, yeah. yeah. You know, I had no idea that. I mean, Marlon Brando. You know him from on the waterfront. Yeah, I, I want to say he won an award by that. Huh? Yeah, I said he had done on the right. waterfront. Um, you know, th this was an established award-winning actor. Yeah. By the time he he had won, what is Godfather like nineteen? Oh God, I remember. 
I can't believe they made him more audition. One of my favorite movies of all time. Never the first two Godfathers are uh, two of my favorite movies. Now the third one, not, not so much. much. But the not first so two, bad, man. I love them both. Now, the first two, those are two of my favorite movies, and I can't pick which one I like. Either. Either. You know, I don't know if I love the part one or part me two either. better. Me What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move, and I'll catch you all on the next video.